Word, son. What do you do, YouTube? It's your boy, Jada Vine. All right, man, before we get into this video, make sure you hit the like button, comment, subscribe. Share the word, spread the links, because you know how I do. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, click the bell icon so you're notified every time I upload. Without further ado, let's get up into it. All right, man, so um, this is even after the big patch, right? I just want to make sure I preface that now. But, ladies and gentlemen, these two clips that you're seeing or are about to see, this is why I don't take college football seriously from a competitive standpoint and even from a standpoint of going to a tournament or entering a tournament where money is on the line. This is why I don't play people for money. You know what I mean? It has nothing to do with, oh, you're just bad at the game. Oh, you're just trash. And blah, 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 blah. That has nothing to do with nothing. Because at the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, it's all about whether or not you get the animations to go in your favor. These two clips alone kind of sums up why I have trust issues with this blocking. I, I can't stand it. I hate the fact that one of them, they don't even engage. Like, you know what I'm saying? They're, two of them are standing there. One doesn't even engage. The other clip is literally just two guys standing around. They both turn into each other and one just glitches through the line. And then before you know it, you only have time to react and then it's a sack or a fumble, whichever one. But you mean to sit here and tell me that you're okay with this? Now, when I ask that question, it all depends who you're asking. Because the person that's trying to get a stop or the one that's trying to win, they're fine with that. But the person that's actually trying to score or trying to do something on offense, and given the situation might be, he's trying to actually get something going because he's had a terrible, you know, last few goes that it were terrible. You know what I mean? So he's trying to get something going, but you get hit with that. And how are you, how are you expected to feel? You know what I mean? Like, you can't just shrug this off and say, oh, well, it's just a game, you know. It's not perfect. Blah, 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 blah. Like, you can't keep this this ho-hum, toxic positivity type attitude when stuff like this happens. Like, you have to toe the line at some point. There's no way that you can sit here and have that happen to you and you just, huh, well, you know, that's college football. It happens. You know, I do I do remember a couple of games ago where they did something like this against Gonzaga. And, you know, come on, man. Like you can't you you can't possibly be that way. It's almost like you had a frontal lobotomy and nothing just nothing to you nothing to you swings a red flag. You know what I mean? Or there is just no line in the sand for you that can be crossed. You're just fine with whatever's given to you because you're happy that college football is back. Like, that that excuse has got to be, like, overran its course. It's got to be done at this point. Like, we got to start putting our foot down and start speaking on the things that we don't want to see in college football. And, again, I understand that patches don't fix everything because, in theory, you want a patch to – fix the issues in the game would be great but the game is going to be it'll it'll fix some bugs but then it'll break something else but either way this is a logic type thing war in the trenches is no such thing in in the ea sports game there is no such thing as war in the trenches linemen just pretend like or whether it's a d lineman d lineman for some reason have more superiority some more superiority over an o lineman I understand that O-linemen aren't going to be able to hold it down every single play. I understand that. But you're not going to have them just do this and I have to accept defeat on that play because my guys logically, from the from a coding perspective and from a gameplay perspective, I have to sit there and eat that because these guys don't want to block properly. And before y'all get in the comments and say, well, if you slide them over or if you double team them on that side, then that doesn't happen. You shouldn't, and again, you should not have to tell them to double team that guy to make him do his job. Those mechanics are there for extra protection. It's not to override the broken AI gameplay logic and override that to make them do what they're supposed to do. They're supposed to be, they're, they're supposed to block. That's what they're supposed to do. They're coded to block. That's their job. Doing that, adding extra protection and all that, that's not to make them properly block. I'm tired of people saying that in the comments. Oh, you got a double team on that side, or you got to do a full slot or half slot on that side to make him block. No, that's for when there's too much heat coming off that side, and you got to slow that down. This is just poor execution of AI and logic and coding. That's what this is. 
But people let them tell it. Oh no, that was just that was on that was your fault. You didn't set the right you didn't set the right adjustments. You didn't slide over. You didn't blah 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 blah. That's on you. Skill issue. It's corny. It's corny, irrelevant. You contribute nothing to the conversation and you're an apologist because you're so happy that you want college football to come back. You allow anything and whatever to go in the game because you want you you overlooking it because college football is a great game. Oh, it's not perfect. It's not perfect. It's a, it's a good game. I, I don't have any issues with it. It's not perfect. You know, not every game is perfect. It's not going to be perfect. It's a game. Blah, 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 blah. Stop. Stop. Just stop. Okay? Just stop. But let me know what y'all think in the conversation down below. I'm going to get up out of here. Make sure you hit the like button, comment, subscribe. Share the word, spread the links, because you know how I do. But I'm going to get up out of here, man. She's your boy, Jay Devine, and I'm signing out. Peace.